So you. we could probably talk about this tank for forever. Yeah. Uh, can can we go and check out some of the tanks? Sure. Yeah. Out here in the in the studio. Yeah. Just real quick, Jimmy's doing some work. Yep. Jimmy's getting ready for the live stream. So you got a couple. I mean, you have four 125s here. Yep. Yep. So this right. one's got Lady Bird, another King of the Hill character. My baby Mabu Puffer. I don't know at this point if they've seen the one, the giant one at the store. It's not giant, but bigger. Uh, and I'm not at the store as much, so I wanted a little baby puffer to have at home, grow it out. These are my favorite variatus hyphen platies. I'm just, I've loved them for many years. And so they're gonna share a tank and kind of clean up after Ladybird. And they're making babies and doing their thing, but I haven't done any setup yet. Like I gotta do a bunch of videos on setting these tanks up. So mm -hmm. right now, they auto water change. There's a couple of plants, but they're not done by any means. Uh, but I'll be making videos on doing that. And you know, everything's made to block the light. And we've got the air pump hidden up in there so it stays quiet. It's and very we've got quiet. The air running around. And uh, everything's on like Wi Fi timers. So I just got to pull my phone out and I open the app, and you can turn any of the lights on or off, that type of thing. And I can change the schedule. And even if I'm away on business, I can check in on it, make sure they're turning on, turn off. Down low here I've got just, we put a bunch of plants from the fish room. This fish room used to have about 60 tanks in it, so I just dumped a bunch of stuff in here. And we've got a bunch of plecos. Back to the video where I had my hands in there, that was that video, all yeah. these plecos came out of there. And we've got the panda guppies, and then there's also some blood parrots in there that love to hide. They don't like us being over them, so they might have to move. So even though there's like six or eight blood parrots in there, they hide because we cast a shadow onto the tank. Okay. All the smaller fish don't care, but that's the way that's running. We've got some corridors in there as well. Uh, over here, this is Jimmy's tank. Jimmy's got a pretty nice yep. cave tank. Yeah. I like this so one. Jimmy yeah. fell in love with rainbows when we went to Gary Lang's house. Oh yeah. And so he has escaped this one out. We haven't released the video, so you guys are getting the, the first sneak peek, but we've got yellow axle rod eyes, and we've got the Kamaka rainbow. We need to get sponge intakes and stuff for the intakes on the filters, but uh, I got some Tiger Lotus in the middle, a bunch of Oku stone, and the only requirement when I let Jimmy do this was everything that he used had to come from my online store so the people, because whenever we put a video out and they go, well, I want that, and then we tell them we can't sell it to them, they're not very happy. Uh, we've got some L, uh, 490, is it 494? I think L494 Plecos. Rio Paros. Rio Paros, yeah. Beautiful. Those are on my cut list. I was going to get rid of those. I brought them back from the catfish convention when we downsized, and Jimmy said I couldn't, so he took them. Uh, and that's kind of what's going on in here. And then down low, I just noticed we've got more reproduction going on. Turtles! So I've got all these turtles. These are full-grown mini musk turtles. That's as big as they're going to get. They're about seven years old. These are all babies I hashed out in another tank. And then right here, I noticed they laid an egg today. Whoa! We were we saw them mating last night. Yeah, we did. And so I gotta get that egg out of there. If it doesn't come out soon enough, it can drown. They want to lay it, Ooh, but this tank isn't set up yet. So I've got a basking platform, but I don't have a lay box. But same thing, the tank's not set up yet. It's just holding them. And this has only been set up this way for about a couple of weeks. We were really under the gun to get the studio ready. You got a lot of scaping to do, man. Yeah, that's so fun. I got a lot of videos to make, which I'm excited <laughs> about. You know. Yeah. And you got some smaller tanks over here. Yeah, this is, these are all 29 gallon tanks to play with some stuff. Right here I've got uh, the wild caught Alba Marginata bettas. So these are mouth brooding bettas. And you can see there's another one right here that, that male's got a mouthful of babies. And so the males on these hold the babies instead of the females. So I've got two males, one girl. And uh, the girl's probably down in the weeds somewhere hiding out. But the, the female always wants to be with the males. It's opposite. Normally you got two girls to one boy. And here you got two boys to a girl because she'll just keep breeding with them and they'll run out of time to eat because they hold the babies and then when they let the babies out, they'll breed again and they'll never eat. So they can starve to death if you're not careful. Um, let's see, down here I've got, these are kind of cool. This is a platy, which normally they're sword tails. These are Showa platy. So they don't, they're never gonna get the sword tail. This is something kind of weird and different. If you're a live bear nerd like me, you go, hey, that's kind of cool. If you're not, you go, oh, looks like a, a sword tail. You know, <laughs> kind of same thing going on over here. I've got some variatus, which is a different type of platy. They can go much cooler water, so they're fun to play with outside. You can see one of the adult females back there, but they got a lot of blue and, and like orange in them. And they can go down to like 55 degrees. I'm hoping to take them oh, wow. down more. And then you can see we've got black shrimp I got from Flip Aquatics. Oh, yeah. so those are all just black neocardinias. And again, no scape going on. Everything just got condensed into like, well, we'll deal with it later type of deal. Right, right. Uh, over here, 
Up top, we've got uh, some golden guppy females, and there's a male up top here. If you can see it right oh, there, yeah. it's a male golden guppy. And I just wanted a lot of color in this kind of non-colorful tank. It hasn't been scaped yet, but if you look in the caves, you'll see uh, the plecos. L is it 397? 397. Yeah. L397, the candy stripe pleco. If we can get some better shots, maybe we'll have Jimmy send you some, but they look amazing. Very cool. Get in there, but the minute I flip one over, they're just gonna go whoop into the next <laughs> spot. So, I oh, like, you can see one right here. Oh. Like, you can see a little bit in that cave. If you can get to focus on without the glare. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see them. Yeah. Yeah, down here you got a really, I really like this. This is a nice piece yeah, of Yeah, we here. haven't escaped it. This was just in a 40 gallon breeder we had, and we moved what was in it over. Uh, we got a bunch of leopard frog plecos I've been growing oh, yeah. out to try and breed. So you can see there, you know, I've got, I haven't got any breeding action or anything like that yet. And you can see one living in the wood right there. Um, you know, so it's a long term project. These are, you know, you set them up, you kind of see some other stuff breeding around the room. This we've had for about a year, year and a half. We probably have another year before they're old enough to start breeding. Okay. And, uh, you know, we just auto water change, feed them well, and keep growing them because we bought them as babies. And there's 12 of them in here. And eventually, hopefully, we start producing some fry. And these, I've known, these have been my favorite. I like these more than zebra plecos. And uh, so I've wanted to breed them knowing that they were going to come up in price. And sure enough, they did. These retail in almost any store now at about 100 bucks a piece. Wow. And it used to be just two years ago, you could pick them up for like 30 bucks. Hmm. And because zebras, um, you know, kind of people are like, oh, you know, I've got them or whatever, and they still like these. I like these better. They seem to be out a little more. They're not as finicky. And uh, so I think, I think what's gonna happen is both zebras are gonna level off and these guys are gonna level off. I think they'll both end up at 125. Like we retail zebra plecos at 150 now all day long. So I think they'll come down about 25 bucks more. And I think these will come up 25 bucks because they're the same difficulty to breed and raise up. It's the raising time that's a real pain. And uh, so yeah, that's where I think that's gonna go. And I just like these, so I said, you know what, let's play with that. Cool, so a lot of work to do, but is this gonna do it for the tanks in? I'm in... hoping so. Yeah. I'm hoping so, because I've got, you know, obviously I have a store filled with aquariums. True. And if we outgrow this for like filming and studio space, we'll probably have to get another warehouse and we'll set up more tanks, stuff like that. And so, so nothing, nothing's gonna happen I don't in the think garage. so over there. For the auto water chain system, we just have a cabinet up here where this is a carbon block filter, takes out the chlorine. We've got all the solenoids that do all the water changes connected to a controller. High tech. Try to make it so that when I gotta travel, when I gotta film, I'm taken care of, you know? Still yeah. gotta feed and do that kind of stuff, but you know, it's been an evolution over 10, 12 years of just like, oh, let's make it better. Oh, let's make it better. And I'm sure two years from now, I'm going, oh, we could make this better again. Here's how <laughs> we're gonna do it, but you know, a lot of infrastructure has gone into this building. Like over here, the stuff that people don't really see is that if the power was to go out, we had dedicated to this building natural gas run out. So if power goes out, we still heat the building with natural gas, even if the power's out. Same thing, tankless water heater. I have unlimited hot water. It says 98 here, but we mix it down here to 80 degrees. And so if there's the worst winter ever, we'll never run out of heat and hot water to keep things alive because there's still things I want to get like a fly river turtle and some of these species are quite rare and it's one of those things like oh it took me 12 years to track that down like I still don't have a fly river turtle and I gotta it's my duty to make sure even when the oops happens outside and hurricanes hitting us which hurricanes don't come here but you know <laughs> whatever's gonna hit that I can keep these animals alive because they're not replaceable so yeah I think that's kind of the that's mostly what I got going on in here I mean I've got a, a tank in the house and you know, you guys have, may or may not have seen my store at this point, but it's been an evolution for sure. Cool. Well, thanks for showing me that, Corey. We have to get ready to do a live stream. That's true. So, unfortunately, this video won't be out before that live stream, but you nope. guys can catch a recording of that on Corey's channel. That's, of course, Aquarium Co-op. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you go do that. Don't forget to subscribe to Rob, too. Yeah. He loves it when you do that. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out uh, all the other videos that we're going to be shooting today. I don't know if they're, you know, it'll be a while before all of them come out, but just be on the lookout for those if you're into this crazy, awesome place. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time.